Okay, everybody, this is part two of my Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles playthrough. So, yet again, this, this is, I will be aiming for the good ending, which I shall achieve, as I have before. Okay, so there will be a few errors here, um, just trial and error mm, process, but uh, overall, I will make it to the special ring, the giant ring. Alright, <laughs> So yeah, this is basically an alternate pathway you can take mm, to reach your special ring. Well, well, just an alternate pathway that you can take, um, but, um, it leads to the special ring, it, it, you see, um, so, yeah, it's another cut, um, you know, I just say, but, okay, I, I'm just repeating my lines from the first part, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. But I tell you, these special stages just get more and more difficult. I remember back in the days when I was playing this game on the Sonic Mega Collection, I'd always get stuck on this special stage. And of course, I had, I mean, I had to try on each special stage. But this one was just, I know, was just very hard. I mean, the one that succeeds this. Mm, and of course, it'll be even harder. Like I say, it just gets harder mm, each and every time, you know. But yeah, like I remember back in what was it, seventh grade? I unlocked Hypersonic for the first time. I mean, that was just such an achievement. I tell you, such an achievement. Anyways, let us continue. Ah. Alright. So. Uh. Yeah, I always hate waiting for the air bubbles. <laughs> Especially when I'm near death. I mean, that happens. That happens. Uh. And those wretched piranhas. Believe it or not, those have prolonged some of my lives in the past. Okay, so this is the mid boss. And yet again, it is quite easy. I think I do remember uh, recording myself battling this boss in one of my um, videos as Multi Mario Sonic, if any of you were around for that channel. But, um, what confuses me is how some people believe I've been on YouTube for years when in reality it's only been about one and one fourth of a year. I know it seems like much more time has passed since then, but it really hasn't. And people say, oh, he's been claiming to be 15 for two years. That makes no sense because I mean, I just turned 15 last October, so make really makes no sense. I don't understand. So, anyways, huh, I'm straying off topic. Uh, so. Yeah, I mean, I really just like how fluid this game is. I mean, 
Like, this game actually ex explains how, um, how, um, Sonic makes it to each environment. Um, like, in, in each Sonic game, the environments are really diverse, but, like, I know, it just seems so bizarre. Like, how does Sonic make it to mm, those environments? You know, that are, that are just so distinguished from one another in terms of characteristics, such as climate, terrain, so on and so forth. But, you know, this game actually explains it, which is... And which is quite impressive for a game released in 1994. Yeah, both Sonic 3 and Sonic Knuckles were released in 1994. And they're, they're both technically um, uh, in parts of the same game. When locked on, you, mm, mm, you obtain the true Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and... Knuckles! Mm. But I'm currently deciding what to do a playthrough of the fu in the future. I mean, um, my splitters are currently shipping, so I'll be able to record some um action some games from an from an actual console. And of course I'll continue to use emulators, you know. But yes, this special stage is hard. <laughs> ah, it's just so hard. Definitely requires precision, you know. I mean, that's basically. That's basically. Uh, what's it, what's expected? Uh, uh, how how do I put this into words? That's basically one of the attributes that are expected um, um, of a, a pro Sonic player. A, a, a pro um, classic Sonic player. You, you, you see what I'm saying? You, you know, because I. Ah, uh, well. The classics were basically momentum and precision based platforming, and. That's what I really liked about the classics. Besides, of course, the, the designs, the level design, and the simplicity, and so on and so forth. Anyways, yep, we're only one Chaos Emerald away from Super Sonic! Mm. I, can't oh, I can't wait. But I mean, I, I often hear people um, comparing the Chaos Emeralds to the Dragon Balls, which I can see why, but the Chaos Emeralds do function differently. Um, they, they do not grant wishes, I mean, and the Dragon Balls do, so, I mean, they aren't complete ripoffs, you know? I mean, plus I consider it, you know, just being inspired. I, mean, you know, that, that, because I, mean, you know, this the staff behind the Sonic series even confirmed that it was inspired. Like they didn't try, you know, they they didn't try, they didn't try to conceal the fact that. You know, it was uh, Dragon Ball inspired, and they were very open about it. You know, so I mean, one can't just, you know, you know, just auto automatically consider it a ripoff without, you know, peering into its background. If if you know what I mean by that. So 
anyways, um, we're near the major boss of Hydro City. You know? Um. Alright, let us duel. Dr. Robotnik, we meet again, let us duel. We shall. We are dueling. We are dueling. <laughs> So, um, you know, this boss battle is rather straightforward, um, just dodge your grenades, and attack at the proper time, you know, um, you know, just use, just use that as a platform, you see? Yeah. Yeah, it's rather straightforward. You see what I'm saying. And ta-da! <laughs> Alright. Well, I'll see you all next time on, on the next part of my Sonic 3 and Knuckles playthrough. Well, where we shall unlock Super Sonic!